my ministry is basically in, um, in education and um, in a, a very um, poor community um, that actually formed during the, the Civil War, um, where in the central part of El Salvador, where the fighting was the heaviest uh, in this area of Cuscatlan, towards the San Vicente volcano, the people, people fled the fly, uh, fighting and were internal refugees. So this was, you know, 30, 35 years ago. And unfortunately, the conditions haven't really improved a whole lot. And so it still has a feeling of a, a squatter settlement and so forth. So my main uh, ministry is in this, in this area called Santa Maria de la Esperanza and accompanying uh, the people, uh, the kids, the families, uh, the youth. Very few people are privileged enough to have uh, a permanent uh, employment, stable employment. Um, most people just work in an informal economy, um, selling whatever they can on the street, uh, bread, tomatoes, tamales, anything. And so it's pretty much a day-by-day a -day survival existence for, for work. And then, you know, the kid gets sick and how to buy the medicine and it's just an economy of probably a few dollars a day, five, between maybe five and ten dollars a day. And so there's a food collection, a little a food bank. Um, there's uh, a program that we started with uh, school supplies where there we form a little cooperative where the people can go and buy notebooks and pens and glue and, and so forth for the, the children that are in school that are a little more of an economic rate. And uh, we're starting also trying to do something with the library with the problem with uh, the books being so expensive, no? This is our um, orange wheelbarrow for the mobile unit of our library and it serves 35 to 40 families um, around the library area and the purpose is to get into homes and uh, little by little it starts on, on the street but once you get to know the parents or the caregiver of the child uh, quite often then it's, it's much easier after a few months of lending books to the children. The mother, the father, a grandparent will come out and get interested as, as well. And then uh, it starts a whole relationship with the family. So it's an excellent way to meet new families and to um, get in touch with uh, what the people are living. And then obviously beyond books, we talked about, people talk, talk about difficulties in the work, uh, there's no work, uh, um, concerns with health, um, in, the, in the community. For example, this, the Aguas Negras, the Rio, here the, that goes behind, there's a, uh, a creek that raw sewage gets dumped into all the time, which is a big problem with mosquitoes especially. But despite all the challenges, um, the people, or it's the people that hope tomorrow will be a, a better day. And it's really a prayer of the poor. This, this hopefulness, and so I think it's such a privilege and such an honor to be able to accompany the people and try to be close to that uh, reality.